going on, my reefing fam? March here, Fragbox TV. This is going to be a vlog episode. So it gets filmed over the course of almost a week, but today, the beginning, it happens to be Tia's birthday. Hello. And this is kind of a weird thing, full house. We have everyone in the store today. Jay's here, Matt's here, Dylan's here, Tia's here. I'm here, obviously. This is the dog. And me and Dylan are taking a bet. So we're going to get into corals in a second, but you got to bear with us with our stupid stories. This is the bet. See this? Dylan is bet, so Tia can have anything she wants to eat today. So Dylan bet that she's gonna want this, and I bet this. And we're gonna see, she's on Uber Eats right now, and we're gonna see in a second. What did we bet? Just bet, friendly wager? Mm -hmm. Friendly wager, but we're gonna get into corals in one sec. The verdict is in, that's no, it. No, what no. do you mean no? She just, said what she wants. She, no, she, she's not there yet. She said what she wants, no, she said it. Did you say it? I said it. And? Uh, Indian. So not sushi. Not sushi. Not Miyako. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting oh, curry today. Yeah, yeah I wanted. No, but I was like, what? Let's start this. Good. Let's start this. Thank you for bearing with us, guys. Thank you very much. Do you want a Do you want a free fifty dollar uh, tenuous frag? Sure. Do you mind being on YouTube? <laughs> sure. Okay. Open the bag and say trick or treat. <laughs> trick or treat. <laughs> yeah, that's the best. That's the best kind of candy. Thanks, man. Thanks. Man. I had to share this with you because I was just blown away. Look at this on Bulk Reef Supply. Hello, Bulk Reef Supply. I love you guys. But I'm always checking out what's new on their site. And I, I haven't heard of this. It's a faux tometer. Crazy. I don't know. But so I'm reading it tests alkalinity, calcium, low range, and high range nitrate, ultra low range nitrite, ultra low range phosphate with one single compact multi parameter test. This is crazy. Look at this thing. It's only 400 bucks. Let's get it. Add to cart. Yeah, I want it. Okay, let's do a review. We'll get one and see what's up. Okay, so I want to start doing something I, in every single vlog post. I want to give yeah, the okay. vlog... What? I'm, I was just about to talk about giving structure. Look at the coast. Do, these people are waiting to hear about corals and we keep giving them... No, it's okay. <laughs> I want to bring a little more structure to the vlog post. It's a little bit random right now it's me kind of walking around it's not kind of i'm walking around the store and then just talking about stuff as i see them so i go over here and then i see some frog spawn and then i tell you wow look at this it's so cool that it has purple streaks running through and it's not your traditional kind of you know everyday green frog spawn it's got a little extra pizzazz kind of like this hammer coral over here green but you see it's got those nice cool painted purple sort of tips your standard hammer is going to be straight green throughout the whole thing, just like that. And that's typically how the vlog posts are kind of going, me talking about this thing. I want to bring a little more structure. So what I'm going to start doing is a coral of the week, maybe a project of the week, a you know, something new of the week. I don't know, a little bit more, a little bit more structure to the post. So we'll start with coral of the week. This should be fun. This is what happens when the store closes. Customers hang around. They never want to go home. People love this place. So this is going to be really hard because one, I am a coral crackhead and two, we have a lot of corals. So I don't know how I'm supposed to do this, but I'm, I have two in mind. I have two in mind. Now keep in mind, uh, it's not always going to be the most colorful coral. It's just going to be the one that speaks to me. So I think I'm leaning towards this. Yeah, let's go with this one for coral of the week. I'm going to give it here to Mr. Strawberry Shortcake. That is our coral of the week. This is just, this is wow. When it gets, yeah, this is, I'm gonna stay quiet. Five seconds of silence, I know, it's rare. Me shutting up, can you believe it? I can't even do it, look, I'm still talking. It's incredible. From Australia, we only find this in the Great Barrier Reef. I know the Latin name, it's on the tip of my tongue. Aquapora. Hmm, I'm gonna go Google it. I'll get back to you with the name, but this is peak color. What does that mean? Sometimes corals brown out. So if you saw on our website, we had these pieces up for grabs this week and they were $15 each. They used to be 150 bucks. I can't get any more color out of them. That's it, we've tried for months. They're healthy, someone grabbed them, you give it a shot. Sometimes acros brown out. They lose their color completely and they're not the easiest corals to keep. Even if you manage to keep them, sometimes it can be tricky to get the best color or the best results out of them. You have to give them the best condition. So what does that mean? High light, lots of flow, low nitrates, low phosphates. Okay, those are arguable. I've seen people get some insane color, insane with phosphates that would traditionally be considered very high. I'm talking 0.1, 0.2, 0.3. 
Point two, I don't know how they do it. In this tank here, in our system, we are keeping our nitrates at about five. That's what we aim for. When they get too low, we actually dose nitrates. This over here, I use ESV nitrates and then phosphates. We're aiming for about 0 0.03, 0 0.05. It does stay quite low naturally because of the way that we water change the system. But I want to talk to you about that in a whole separate video because I can dedicate 20 minutes to just talking about how we essentially water change our store here. I remember last time I had a water change. Really? Yeah. I it very often. You usually don't make it. The project of the week. What am I working on? Huh? I know, Tia, it's uh, Tia's birthday today, and also it is her favorite time of year. It's Halloween, project of the week. I really gotta get this done. I'm kind of slacking over here. It's like the finishing touches, and I literally, I have the plexi, the acrylic, this, this, this stuff that gives it this nice finished look. It's in my car. I've just been so freaking busy with the new shipment. I know you guys know that we got these new corals, and the acros are looking amazing. They're getting gobbled up quick. I would say, you know, we just put them on the site last night, about 30% of them are gone. You can see here, gone, 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 gone. And they got shipped. I you typically don't want to ship acro. We are trying now with a larger styrofoam container, very thick. And we're using new bags that are much larger than before, more water, thicker containers, new heat packs, which are 50% hotter than before. Typically, uh, ac uh, frags, no trouble. I've been shipping frags across the country for the past 10 years with very little mortality, even throughout the winter months. Colonies, not so much, but now we're going to see. This one went Regina, Montreal, Winnipeg, Calgary, Vancouver, Moncton, Ottawa, all over the country. So we will check back and see how those go. Anyways, this is going to be, I know it's not that fun, finishing, finishing this. That's my project. That's it. There's got to be more. Oh, in the basement. Let's go visit the poltergeist. What up, poltergeist? And the reason why I'm not sharing my stupid ghost story is because it's stupid. You know, I wish something really paranormal happened to me. I wish like, you know, I levitated off the ground and my head spun backwards like the, uh, like in that movie, Emily Rose, what's it called? Like the exorcist, but it's not. It's so, it's just dumb and creepy, but I'll tell you guys maybe on Halloween. This, this is gonna, this really should be my project of the week. This is good because if I talk about it, it'll put it in my mindset and then I'll be accountable to you guys. I want to get this tank up and running the same way I did this one over here. This is our new incoming system so that we can hold more corals. And this I'm tying into our farm system over here to grow just softy. So I want to do mushrooms, some xenia, maybe some anemones, super low flow. I'm going to use the Neptune skylights because I want to see what they're all about. I'm going to hang two of them off the ceiling here. I'm going to do some gravel. I'm going to do, what am I going to do? I got to plummet. That's the main thing. I'm just got so much on the go right now. Maybe if I put down the camera and spent less time on YouTube videos and more time doing my job, then maybe this would be done. I guess I don't really have a job. It's kind of fun being the owner because I get to, I decide every day, what am I going to do? In which direction are we going? I want to set up this. Like the other day, I have sort of this curse. When I get an idea, I am screwed. I'm screwed. As soon as I get the idea, I know it's just a matter of time before it's going to get executed. So I'm so in love with how long and, and shallow this tank is. I'm really rethinking or considering to redo this one over here. It's 14 inches. It's not as practical. I have wasted space. I could probably go, you know, it's a small store. I got to think about every square inch in here. I could probably go a foot and a half out and maybe move the plumbing and I could maybe get more space, more holding room out of this tank. I'm trying to, I'm trying not to think about it and get this project done over here because that, that one's really been on the back burner for quite some time. Look at this trade-in. Woo! This is the Jack-O-Lantern Leptoceris. Nice big colony. Someone grew out. There's some red Monty here. Please disregard the dirty glass. Yeah, believe it or not. Our glass gets dirty too. You're not alone in this endeavor. This is not a, a problem only you people have. Glass gets dirty. Check it out though. That is a very cool. I should really grab the macro lens that we just picked up and get. Is this frag box or pumpkin box? What are we doing here? It's pumpkin box. Huh? We're making a candy jar. What are we, we doing? forgot to buy one. <laughs> what, are we do what are we doing here? Making candy jars. Look at that. You know what that is? You all know what that is. It's not good. And I am going to go grab some f -Aptasia, new product that we have here in the store, and give it a shot and see what it's about. I haven't had a chance to personally try it, so I am a serial killer of Aptasia. I derive sick 
enjoyment and pleasure from killing these. Is that messed up? Is that wrong? I don't care. So do we like it? I'm gonna try it. Where'd it go? We have a lot of products in here, huh? How do we keep track of stuff? <gasps> okay, give me a chance. I'm gonna try it out. I found a nice... I, you have one open? This is a new product for us. You probably heard about it. BRS did a nice long review on it. It's supposed to be good. I'm going to use... We have one open? Yeah. What do we have? You have to shake it and stir it really well. So Tia said bad experience. Look, if we don't like a product, I'm more than happy to do this. Watch, you see? Hey, this stuff's no good. Goodbye. No, no, no. no it's for dramatic effect. I'm, okay. not, I'm not really throwing it out. No, but I only said, like, no I'm just trying to be funny. <laughs> no, I said I had a bad experience because I think it was user error. I don't, I've never used it before. I was trying it in the tank. So I'd like to try it again. Oh, but yeah, you were great. telling me you killed you killed something with it, right? Let's, I, do, a, let's do a review yeah. video on it. But it worked really well in here. Yeah, but you used it to kill coral and it's designed to kill Aptasia. I did. Yeah, yeah. so. But we killed an Aptasia that we had with it. Where? Well, if it's dead, why am I following you? We're not going to find it. I don't think we broke the I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try, I'm gonna try it out and we're gonna give you our opinion. And we only stock stuff that we would use on our tanks at home. If I wouldn't use this, I'm not gonna sell it to you. If it's on the shelf, 90% we have experience with it, most of it, we use it. Just about everything we sell, we've used or we know how to use, right? Yeah, we don't stock ourselves based on margins. So a lot of stores, there's some big box stores here in the city, they will only carry a product if it's a certain margin so they'll only carry this if they're able to make 30 percent 40 percent or whatever they've decided or higher not because the product's good they've only decided to carry it because of profit so this for example neptune apex you're not going to find this in all the big box stores like ours here in toronto they won't carry it because the margin's too low they don't want to deal with the company and they're not going to find it they don't give it they don't give a damn that it's an amazing amazing product they're only stocking their shelves based on profit margin. That's something we absolutely 100% do not do. And like I said, have no problem pulling something off the shelf. Um, I'm gonna do an update video, maybe on these. Hmm, what's going on here, Mr. Nero 3? I'm having quite a few come back with warranty. Love the brand, love AI, love the app, love the Hydras, love the Prime, love the Nero 5. Mmm, a little bit undecided. I'll talk to you guys some more about this in another video doing a long-term update. I'm starting to see Nero 3's come back with reviews. I have no problem shitting on a product. I have no problem telling you this thing sucks. I don't want you to buy it if it sucks. I want to sell you stuff that's good because you're going to take it home. You're going to use it. Oh my God, March, that pump is the best. Thank you so much. I don't want you coming back to the store. If you're coming back to the store, I want you coming back with good reviews, coming to pick up coral. I don't want you coming back you know, with your Nero 3 that you just bought for 209 Canadian dollars and the thing doesn't work out of the box. Come on, that's crazy. Um, I'm, I, don't, I don't have brand loyalty. I don't, like, I do, like, I love certain brands, but if a product sucks, a product sucks, and I'm gonna tell you about it. 100% I'm gonna tell you about it. So, like I said, from the beginning of the channel, I promise to show you the good, the bad, the funny, the ugly, the death, the destruction, the mistakes, the learning, the dog, the Tia, the aquascaping, the Stephanie, the Tia. That's what I said, duh. Yeah, yeah, proper noun. Did you like it clean? Is it good? <laughs> you like curry? I don't know why this is still here. Somebody come grab me. I'm only 80 bucks. I want a forever home. Please take me home. It's a rock flower, rock flower oh. anemone. Today's episode is brought to you by Red Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> why did these, why did the YouTubers put up, why did they, <laughs> why do you guys subscribe? Why do you tolerate me? <laughs> I don't know either. How much? How much? Who's it for? Him? So whatever you were thinking and then double it. Trick or treat? Let me see it underneath. Let me see the water. I gotta see the color. Whoa, 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 come on. I don't know, I'm thinking 500 bucks. I'm just kidding, this is not the United States. Your coral prices down there, guys, by the way, nuts. Your coral prices are crazy. I, we do stock the US websites, we look at the prices, insane. I don't know how you guys pay them. And your dollar is also much stronger than ours. Very, very high prices. What colony did that come off of? Which one? I gotta see. I have to see the colony to decide the price. So one other thing I want to do in the videos, why am I walking backwards? One other thing I wanna do in the videos every week is 
a piece of advice. I don't um, one piece of advice for the week. That'll be part of our vlog thing. So for today's piece of advice, I'm going to say, what am I going to say? If you are buying a coral, buy for color. Don't buy for size. So if you're looking at a piece, you know, and there's three different frog spots. Hypothetical scenario. Humor me. Buy the one that you prefer. Buy for color. Because they're all going to grow. Disregard the size. If one's a little bit bigger, a lot of people are like, oh, but this one has more heads. And this one's, you know, this is an inch bigger this way or that way. If you're doing what you're supposed to be doing in the hobby and you're keeping your parameters where you're supposed to be keeping them, buy for color, not for size. So this is a small piece. It is quite expensive. We call it a master mango. Thing is incredible. So much nicer in person than it's picking up here on camera. You guys always hear me say that. And you know that when you come in the store that I'm not always getting the most accurate color representation through the lens. There's the camera, there's the lens, there's the blue lights then it gets put into our computer, uploaded to YouTube, from our monitor to your monitor. There's so many lines of communication there. And it's, it's just different when you see them in person. So I don't know why I told you all that. What I really want to say is buy for color, not for size. Good point, Stefan just said, unless you can buy for color and size. That, okay, disregard everything I just said. If you wanna see what two non-reef safe fish look like, this is Frick and, and his friend Frack. Where did they go? These guys have developed an exquisite appetite for expensive blastomusas. So what is that? Blastomusa. Hello. Hello, beautiful. This type of coral here, it's kind of like Acan's fat cousin. Very similar care requirements. Ooh, this one's nice. Let me show you this one. That's a nice piece. Why has no one bought this yet? Very, very nice. Sometimes I'm surprised about corals that are still here. That one's very nice. So are these. I keep teasing you guys with these. I'm going to get around to fragging them. Really cool torch frost. But what I'm trying to say is, I used to, I used to bow down to these guys. I used to say, wow, Foxface, you guys are the best. You're so colorful and reef safe and you wouldn't touch any of my corals. I take that back. Very, very wrong. Not reef safe. Very skittish. Beautiful fish. This is going to be SPS dominated. So I think we're safe. We'll see. Easy to catch them though, if we want to get them out. How do you guys like the new macro lens? Question of the day. It's pretty cool, no? Check this thing out. Look at this die. Maybe I should show you fish and scent. Sorry guys. This tank here, our 10 gallon JBJ, all in one. Still, no water change. We're coming up on six months, about six months, nothing. This is only possible because, you know, it's one fish, very, very light bio load, primarily soft corals actually all soft corals and yeah it's looking good check out this nephthia they're happier well, you know what we don't even test it this is a very very low maintenance tank it gets fed i believe every other day light cleanup crew just to keep the algae in check some scarlets no water change i don't know if you could pull this off on a bigger tank i know a lot of people that don't do any water change but i think it's pretty cool very very low maintenance tank i mean clean the glass add fresh water we do have an auto top off on it it's looking pretty good as you guys already know, I'm not the best when it comes to fish. I don't know a lot about fish. I really got into the hobby for the corals. And somebody once gave me the name of a, a wrasse. I know there's a lot of um, people out there that have a lot more fish knowledge. So if you know what this one is, we're trying to figure it out here in the store. I'd really like to know the Latin name. I think Tia's got a nickname for it. It's pretty cool. I'm trying my best with the macro lens to really zoom in on them. I apologize if it's blurry. It is, this is tricky. This is testing my motor skills right now. Not, not an easy kit, fish to capture. It'd be nice to get them to sit still. But if anyone out there knows the Latin name of this fish, or even um, just sort of the hobby name, trade name, would be nice too. How are you guys liking the new macro lens? Is it coming through clear? Let me know in the comments below. And just quickly talking about fish, I am going to do a video on why we do not import and sell any fish, why we only do captive bread. And once I do that video, I think that you will, you'll feel me, you'll understand why. It's a, there's a moral issue involved. There's, it's not nice. It's, I'll talk to you about it in another video, why we don't, why we don't sell any fish and we only do captive redfish. You know what, it's so nice and I have the macro lens out so I'm gonna give the coral of the week one more moment of glory because it deserves it. And now it deserves it up close and personal. Look at the polyps. It doesn't get better. That's it. For shortcake, this is it. 
This is as good as it's gonna get. This is not an easy coral to keep. I'm gonna tell you straight up. And yeah, I'll you know what? This is feeling like shortcake. This piece could get a video in its own right. I can talk to you about this for a lot more than 30 seconds. Have not had yellow feather dusters in a while and they're not gonna last long. So if you are looking for one, scoop them up. They're here, they're available. I do also have some purple maroon with yellow stripes. They're really cool animals. Uh, let me see if I can hold the camera and also piss them off at the same time. Hold on, let's see, get my finger in there. Bloop, isn't that cool? I love these things. They won't last long, I'm telling you. I think I'm just about done with these loser crabs too. So you see the same way I said that I have, you know, if a product is no good, I'm happy to pull it off the shelves. Same thing goes for these blue knuckle crabs. These things are so cannibalistic. Look at this war zone. This is World War II of hermits. There's bodies everywhere. This is crazy. Call the UN. This is nuts. This is, they're, they're cannibalistic. They're mean. They're mean crabs, but they're beautiful. Look at how cool that is. It's a beautiful crab. But uh, there are other ones that are way less harmful. Like when I look at the, these white ones, I think we call them African whites. I'm not 100% sure. They have these, no, we call them orange tip white hermits. Sorry, I know you guys are here for corals and I'm complaining about hermit slaughter. These guys don't kill each other. I don't find the bodies all over the place the way I do with the blue. So what I'm trying to say is if uh, the same way I'm happy to pull a product off the shelf, I'm more than happy to stop selling a hermit that sucks. And I'll tell you why. It's because this has never been about the money. From day one, I started as a hobbyist. Just how many of you are watching this video? Started with a little 15 gallon tank and just became completely and utterly obsessed. Completely and utterly obsessed. Like a drug, like an addiction to the point where I opened the store and it was never about it was never about making money. It was just being around the animals, being around the corals. I couldn't imagine not being around them, not doing this. It's an obsession. It's an obsession. It's a passion. It's an addiction. All tied into a business. And I think that comes through in the videos. I hope you guys sort of get a glimpse into... I'm basically a crazy person with a camera addicted to corals. That's what this, this channel is. And I've, we're going to rename it, actually. Instead of Fragbox TV, we're just going to call it Coral Holics Anonymous. And if you think I'm kidding, there's a little bit of truth in every joke. What is this? Coral Holics. This is our to-do list here at the store. Stuff to get done. Coral Holics Anonymous. Who wrote this? Meetings. Friday nights at 7. Bring beer and wine. Happy face. Hmm. We're waiting for some COVID restrictions to ease up. We can have people more comfortably in the store. It's a tight store. There's not a lot of space. We want to do it safely. But we used to do stuff like that before COVID. Before the channel, we do Friday nights at the store. You know, the store's closed to walk-ins, but 20 people would come by, crack open a case of beer, and literally just shoot the shit with each other. Um, we had fun coral nights. We do unboxing nights, pizza nights. One time I brought over the N64 from my house and I'm quite good at Super Smash Brothers. If anyone knows what that is, I don't want to toot my own horn, you know. I try not to have an ego. I'm pretty darn good, you know. You put me, you put me with Pikachu on an N64, it's not easy to beat me. So anyone that could beat me in that video game could take home a $20 frag for free. I love doing that kind of stuff. And COVID stole this from us, took away our socialization and our, our, our reef gathering. So finally, we're getting towards the end of that and we're gonna start doing those kind of things again. And if you're local and you feel like coming to one, shoot us an email, we'll add you to the list and it'll be fun. It's a chance to meet other people with similar interests. A lot of guys trade frags, um, they'll sell frags. A lot of people meet here at the store. It's kind of like a, like a hub, like a meeting spot here. Like, hey, I'll meet you at Fragbox. I want to buy this skimmer. Or, hey, I'd like to buy these those off here. I couldn't care less. Do it outside in the front parking lot. You know, I, it really, it doesn't bother me. I started as a hobbyist. I understand that. I met people at stores to trade and buy and sell frags for the better half of a decade. So it's kind of cool. I'm, I'm happy to be, to be part of that community. One final topic and then we'll wrap it up. I'm trying to move away from coral names, kind of, the trade names, and I'm trying to get more into the Latin names. I think the naming of corals has gotten a little bit ridiculous or a little bit redonkulous. I find now every single torch has a name. Maybe this is the rantings of an old man that's been in the hobby for far too long. It could be, tell me if I'm wrong. I'm open-minded. If I'm wrong, tell me. I love when people call me on my bullshit, but I'm gonna give you my opinion. 
you know, every torch now has a name. Uh, Dragon Soul, New York Knicks, Ultra Rainbow Gold, Dynamite Torch, blah, 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 blah. And then every vendor's got a different name. People selling from their homes have different names. The names vary from state to state, from province to province, from city to city. I can't keep track. My memory, my knowledge is only so much. I'm going, I'm trying to go back to Latin names. This is a Euphilia Glabarensis. You can't argue with me. You can't tell me this is not a Euphilia Glabarensis. That's what this is. This is a torch coral. Whether it's a Dragon Soul or a New York Knicks, I'm trying to go back a little bit and I'm, maybe I'm a little bit hypocritical because you're going through a site and you'll, you'll see names, but I'm, I am have the intention and the effort to start kind of using color. So this is a gold, a branching gold Indonesian torch coral. And that's it. People always ask us the names. You want a name? I'll make one up. I don't care. This is a royal golden mustard ball torch, if that makes you happy. I know with the Zoas, you know what? I'm going to say with the exception of the Zoas, I, I can kind of see the usefulness. You know, I'll trade you a blue hornet for a red hornet and then... A sunny D, you know, I'll trade you for another chaos or an incinerator. In those instances, I can see where they help, but it's getting, it's getting a little out of control. Elegance corals don't need names. Open brain corals don't need names. Blastos don't need names. There's only a few varieties. Hammer corals don't need names. The acro, I'm really trying to go back to Latin names on the acro because I think it's cool to know what you have. This is a Formosa. Cicale. You know, if you have Carduus. Anyways, that's my little rant of the day. You may start to notice on the website, I'm taking away the, the names Rainbow. So I'm reserving the names Rainbow for the Rainbow Montipora, which is a true rainbow coral because you're getting red, green, blue, yellow, orange. You ever look at a rainbow? It's got all the colors. I'm reserving it for Rainbow Monty and I'm res reserving it for the Rainbow Dynamite Chalice because those two corals are, in my opinion, the way my eyes work, I'm seeing five colors. That's true rainbow. I think the words rainbow and the words ultra are heavily overused in the hobby. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. I think it's enough. Yep, it's about 20, 25 minutes. I know that's about as much as you guys can tolerate for an episode. And we'll go ahead and wrap this up in a timely manner because you all know that I have a problem wrapping up videos, putting down the camera, shutting up and going home. And I'm here usually after, after hours. The store closes, there's always something to do. Always, never, never ending in the store as one as a business owner. There's payroll, there's paperwork, there's emails, there's the website, there's SEO, there's photos to upload, photos to take down, orders to prepare, supplies, boxes, tape, shipping, restocking the shelves, uh, accounting, paying suppliers, uh, writing blog posts, making YouTube videos. That never ends as a business owner. And then there's the hobbyist aspect. There's the water change, the skimmers, the floss, the cleaning of the glass, checking on the pumps, gluing down broken frags, feeding the corals, feeding the fish, fragging the corals, testing the water, the calcium, the alk, the magnesium, the pH, the phosphate, ammonia, nitrite, silicates, copper, heavy metals, iodine, strontium, potassium. Dosing the tanks, checking to make sure everything's working. It's never ending. It's never, never ending and I freaking love it. Almost every single aspect. I love dealing with you guys, I love the channel, I love interacting, I love when you guys come in the store. And uh, yeah, that's a good time to wrap this, up on, uh, this one up. Thanks for watching guys, and if you ha don't already know, we do a video here every single day of the week, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Have a good evening.